it certainly makes St. John's County a safer and better place having convicted this individual. A St. John's County man faces 30 years to life in prison after a jury found him guilty of armed trafficking of cocaine. State attorney for the Seventh Circuit, R.J. Larizza, says Eddie Rivera was under surveillance for a time before his arrest. He was on their radar screen. They were watching him. The information they were able to obtain through their investigative techniques and surveillance uh, led them to contact him, take him into custody, and then ultimately seize the kilo of cocaine, which is about 2.2 pounds. Additionally, he had about eight firearms. Four of those, I believe, were two AK-47s and I think two AR-15s or a similar type weapon. Rivera will be sentenced in June. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. With climate change, with rising sea level, we've experienced more storms in the last six years than the previous 150 years. That's St. John's County Commissioner Henry Dean. He speaks to Liz Ryan about the possibility of the state buying out the homes battered by storms in Summerhaven. The southern part of the beach in Summerhaven has battled severe erosion for decades. He told me why he thinks the buyout would be a prudent use of taxpayer dollars. In 2011, the county commission entered into a settlement agreement in a lawsuit with most of those homeowners and committed to providing vehicular access to those homes. And that's costing us an arm and a leg. And that beach is so volatile. And those homes are at such great risk. I've suggested we do a voluntary buyout and do it in conjunction, hopefully, with the feds and the state. In fact, the speaker, Paul Renner, has $2.5 million in this year's state budget to start that process. If we're able to do that buyout, that would actually save tax dollars. I asked Commissioner Dean what he'd like to see become of Summer Haven. I would like to see it as a park preserve. That way you would have wildlife habitat for the least turns, the sea turtles and any other critters that want to use it. And Henry Dean knows a thing or two about coastal areas and wetlands. During my tenure at the St. John's River Water Management District, we basically set aside by purchase large tracts of land in St. John's County, which amounted to about 70,000 acres. That included Guano River Preserve, 12 Mile Swamp, Deep Creek, Moses Creek, Matanzas State Forest, significant amount of wetlands set aside through acquisition. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. St. John's County officials remind the community about its emergency alert system. St. John's County Emergency Management Deputy Director Kelly Wilson describes what the Alert St. John's system does. It is a way that we can get you immediate information about anything that may involve some sort of a public safety thing. One of the things that we would use it for in emergency management may be evacuation type notices. So it is a way for us to reach you and we can reach you via your home phone, your cell phone, your email, or via text message. And that's the great part about this system is you get to choose how we actually get a hold of you. It's not just for emergencies. Uh, Other things that can be used is our utility department uses it for bull water notifications. The sheriff's office may use it. They recently used it over the weekend about an, an escaped inmate. person was apprehended within the hour. So it has a lot of uses and it's, it's a fantastic system we need folks to sign up for. You can customize what alerts you receive. Let's say that you're very interested in getting weather alerts, specific weather alerts. You can sign up for them and you can receive any sort of a weather alert. When you sign up, you're automatically signed up for the public safety notification. Visit sjso.org to sign up. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. The weekend is here and there's plenty of family fun to be had in St. John's County. This is Stacy with Fun for Augie Kids. This weekend is the St. Augustine Trailblazer Country Music Festival featuring amazing country music, barbecue showdown, arts and craft exhibitors, and a kid's corner. Your family is sure to have a great time. Families are invited for a special morning of stories and lots of water fun at the Splash Pad Storytime. This is a great event for toddlers and preschoolers, but be prepared for lots of watery fun. Visit Barnes & Noble for their Saturday. Saturday's story time. This week's feature will be The Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. The Taste of St. Augustine is this Sunday. This event highlights the culinary heritage and culture of St. John's County by showcasing new restaurants and established favorites. There will be a free children's area with face painting and arts and crafts. 
take part in their 5K race, which benefits Epic Behavioral Healthcare. For more on these events and others, please visit us on our website at fun, the number four, allgeekkids.com. Have a great weekend. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.